Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. These are the five projects that we're making for our Turtle Friends class. Aren't they so cute? Uh, we did have a bonus project this month, just a little gift card holder. So normally we have four, but this month we have five. There is a PDF over on my website that's available for a small fee. It has all the measurements and uh, box templates and everything. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the projects. Okay, so we're going to start with this box here, and the first thing we're going to do is cut our paper. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut at two and three quarters by two. The class comes with six by six sheets, and then I still need two and three quarters by one and a quarter. So I'm just going to slide that up. And then the next piece we need one and a quarter by two, and we need two pieces. So I'm gonna turn this around, cut this at two inches, and then cut these at one and a quarter. And you need two of them, okay? So there's that. I'm using the measurements on the right side. It's a little bit easier to see. So these are the pieces we need for our box. These pieces here are extras, so you can use those on whatever you prefer. So we're gonna take this basic white piece here. We're using Memento ink. We're gonna stamp the turtle. And then color it with the light fresh freesia stampin blend marker i'm going to place this on my stampin mat and I'm going to take the Fresh Freesia ink pad and I'm going to stamp the turtle shell, okay? We're going to take the turtle punch and cut it out. I went outside the lines a little bit. There we go. Let's set that aside. Now we're gonna stamp the greeting. So we're using Hello Little One. Okay, I'm gonna take my liquid glue and we're going to add some adhesive to this little small piece here and it's gonna go right there on top of that, okay? And we'll set that aside to dry. And now we're gonna add this circle to the scallop circle. Now let's make our box. This class comes with two templates. So this is the template for this box. Okay, I'm gonna place it on the portrait side and I'm going to score it at one and a half inches on both sides. And then I'm gonna place it on the landscape side and I'm gonna score it at half an inch three and a half, five, and eight. So we're gonna fold and burnish 
on all the score lines. Now we're going to do some cutting. I'm going to start on this half inch side over here and I'm going to remove this section and then repeat that on the opposite side. Okay, now we're going to cut up to the score line on each of these. Now we're going to trim each of these tabs. So trim the four tabs. On both sides. So we're going to add our adhesive right here, except first let's take our Detail Trio Punch and we're going to round these top corners, okay? I almost forgot that step. That would not have been good. Now we're going to add adhesive to this little strip right here. I'm just going to use some tear and tape. I'm using my take your pick tool to remove the backing and I'm just going to fold this over just like that. Okay. So that makes that the back of my box. And this is the front bottom. So I'm gonna put my tear and tape on there as well. And I'm using the take your pick tool to remove the vacuum again. Just fold that over and then fold that over. And then our seam is there. So like I said, that makes this the front of our box. I'm gonna take a 1 8 inch circle punch and I'm only gonna do one side. These punches really prefer you do one layer at a time. So I've punched that first side and then now I'm just gonna go back over that hole and punch the back piece, okay? We're gonna do that again once we add our paper. So this piece here goes up top and I need to round the corners. So that goes there. So here's our designer series paper. We're gonna take our liquid glue and add these to the box. I love this color. We want to take our circle punch or hole punch and punch through that designer series paper. We're going to add him or her right to the middle of that. So I'm just going to flip it over 
and add it with a dimensional. This is going to go in the center and I'm just going to use liquid glue. Since we popped up the turtle, we don't have to pop up this layer also. Okay, that goes there. The class packets come with um, one yard of ribbon, um, which is plenty for this box. Uh-oh, my turtle fell off. I should have waited and let it dry. Let's give that a second. Okay, so we want to bring enough through to tie this in a bow, okay? So what I'm gonna do is get it just like that, and then I'm going to thread the greeting, okay? And then I'm gonna make my little bunny ear to tie the bow. Okay, I'm just going to trim the ends of the ribbon and then we just need to add, whoops, what happened? Um, our embellishments. So let me get those. We're using two different embellishments. We're using two of the in color jewels and then we're using one of the um, loose flower flourishes. Isn't it cute? So let's get that one first. And I'm gonna add that, oops, there's a little one there. I'm just gonna add it with a mini glue dot. These work great, and I don't have to wait for it to dry. If you wanted, that would, that could be the only embellishment that you use, but I really like these, um, these jewels. They're so pretty. Okay, one up here. And one down here. Okay, so that wraps up this one. Pretty cute, right? I guess this should go down like that. Okay. Okay, so this is our second project we're making. It opens up like that. Here's the designer series paper and here's the supplies. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the designer series paper. Your first cut is going to be three and five eighths. So three and five eighths by two and three eighths. So two and three eighths. The next piece measures three and five eighths by one and a quarter. So we're just going to slide that over to one and a quarter. And then the next two pieces measure one and a quarter by two and three eighths. So what I'm gonna do is cut this one to measure one and a quarter. And then two and three eighths. And we need two of those, okay? So this is the four pieces that we're using, the two sides, the top, and the front. This is your leftover uh, paper, okay? We're gonna take our basic white cardstock and we're gonna stamp our images. We're gonna start with the larger turtle. <laughs> we'll call this the mama. And then we're gonna stamp the little one. And let's see, that's it with the Memento ink. We're gonna stamp the happy birthday on this little stitch rectangle. And I'm gonna use my Stampin' Matte. Polished pink is the color that we're using. It kind of sort of matches my nails a little bit, doesn't it? 
So let's see, where's the greeting? Here we go. We'll set that aside to dry and then we're going to stamp the bird. And that's going to be on this scrap piece of paper. Now let's do some coloring. So I'm going to use the soft succulent. Now we're gonna take their shells and stamp them. So once again, I'm gonna get my Stampin' Matte and the Soft Succulent ink pad. So cute. Okay, we're gonna cut out the turtle with this punch, with the turtle punch. And then we're going to fussy cut the other. So there's that. Oh, I forgot to stamp the bow. Let's see. Maybe we stamp that again. I'm going to use my paper snips to do the fussy cutting. The bow is the easiest. Okay, so now we've cut all of those out. So now we can make our box. So these are all of our pieces. We're just gonna slide them over. And let me get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. I'm gonna place this on the portrait side and I'm gonna score it at one and a half inches on both sides. And then on the landscape side, I'm gonna score it at one and a half four and an eighth, 
five and five eighths and eight and a quarter. We're going to fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. This box too has a uh, template and here's what it looks like. This side is the same as this side. So what we're gonna do is just start on this bottom piece here and I'm going to cut up to the score line on each of these. And for this one, I'm gonna remove this piece here, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So cut up to the score line and remove this section, okay? I'm gonna trim the tabs. This just makes uh, assembling your box so much easier. Now, here's how it looks. Okay, so this piece down here, this is the top. We need to do some trimming. We're gonna angle this. So I'm gonna angle this like that. And I'm gonna take this piece and add it over here so that I cut the same amount, okay? And you don't have to if you don't want to, because if they don't match up, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. So we're gonna trim down a bit and I'm gonna save that piece and bring it over here and cut it at the same, um, same measurement, okay? And like I said, you don't have to. If you look at my sample, I didn't do it on my sample. <laughs> and it's all cattywampus. In fact, look, see, this is totally not straight. But whoever gets that box, they are not going to flame me. So here it is now. We're going to add our adhesive. You're going to put the adhesive on these four tabs, okay? I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. You are welcome to use your favorite adhesive. I have used uh, tearing tape on the first box, and this time I'm using the um, Stamp and Seal Plus. They all work, as long as it's a super strong adhesive. Okay, there's that part. So this is gonna fold in like that. And this is gonna fold in like that. We wanna add our little half circle here. Now our one inch circle punch has retired. We have no circle punches left. Um, so if you don't have one and you need me to point you in the direction to buy one, let me know. You can use one inch, one and a quarter, one and three eighths, three quarters, half an inch, whatever circle punch you have, you're welcome to use. We're gonna be using it again on our paper here in just a bit. So now we're gonna take our, this is the Scallop Contours um, dies, and we're gonna glue this box right on top of that. So I'm just gonna turn it over and place the adhesive. Liquid glue works best for this part because if you don't get it in the exact spot, you can reposition it. You can slide it to where you want it. And I think that looks good, but no, it's a little crooked. So let's press. Slide it again a little bit more, just a smidge. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna press on the inside, okay? Now we're ready to decorate the box. So we're gonna take this piece here and add it on top. And you can use the other side of this paper if you want. I just really wanted to stick with the um, these gingham prints for this class. You guys know I love monochromatic, so. There's that one. And then we'll add these side pieces. That one looks longer, but it's not. <laughs> 
and whoops, I slid that, didn't I? There we go. Okay, now let's add our greeting. This is just going to get added with some liquid glue, which I have on my fingers right now, I'm trying to not get it everywhere. So we're putting this in place first so that then we have room for it because we can move those turtles around wherever we want them, but not the greeting. <laughs> so that goes there. And then this one's gonna go here. And I did not pop it up. I just put liquid glue on it because we're popping the little bird up, okay? So this goes here. And then the little baby goes in front. A little baby turtle. <laughs> and then the bird, like I said, is going to get added with a uh, mini dimensional. We're just going to pop it up ever so slightly. Ruh -ruh. There we go. Any minute now, my husband's going to say, dinner, time to eat. So if you hear it, just excuse it. I know any second he's going to say it. I'm hoping I finish this video before he does. Okay, there's that. Now the final step is we're just going to add some embellishments. So this time we're using the soft succulent ones. And, or maybe not. I don't know which color we're using. <laughs> They're all pretty though, right? I feel like I have one on my finger. Okay, that wraps up this project. So cute, right? Okay, so this is our first card and it opens up like this. Okay, so let's cut our paper. Here's our designer series paper. We'll start with that. This first pattern here, we're going to cut to measure three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. That's the first one. Then we're going to cut, um, let's see, one and three quarters by five and an eighth. So one and three quarters by five and an eighth. And then from this pattern paper, we're going to cut, so one and three quarters by five and an eighth. So you only need one of these sheets. You don't need two because you're using this one for the inside, okay? This is the rest of our pieces, which seems like quite a bit, doesn't it? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and score this so that we don't get it mixed up with anything else. This is thick basic white. I love our thick cardstock. Uh, and this is going to get scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. We're going to fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. Now this layer here is going to get added right inside. So I'm going to use my liquid glue. And this is going to get added here. So we're just adding our panels. And this one. Am I doing this right? Yep, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. This is going to go just like that. Now we're going to add our designer series paper panels. So same thing, just use your liquid glue. It's nice using the liquid glue because you can slide it in position. 
I didn't use it for many years. I mainly used it just on coaster projects. And um, once I fell in love with it, I just use it every time I paper craft. And it's super affordable. And now this one, make sure it fits before I put the glue on there. I can't trim it if I've got glue on the back. Okay. Now, we have this piece here, right? What does this measure? This measures six by four. We need to score that at three inches. So on the six inch, six inch side, we're scoring it at three inches. Fold on the score line, burnish with the bone folder. And now we are going to attach this layer right here in the center, okay? So just put your liquid glue on the back. And again, I am so glad I have liquid glue because I would not have gotten that straight if I'd used any other adhesive. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna go like that. So now we're gonna add our layers to this. So this one's gonna go there. This one's going to go here, and we're going to stamp the greeting up here at the top, and then this piece is left for stamping our turtles, okay? So I'm going to get the Calypso Coral ink pad, and I'm going to use my Stampin' Matte for this. So now we're going to stamp our turtles and let's see these are the two that we're using we're also going to stamp the little party hat and that's right here I'm using memento ink So now let's do some coloring. I'm using the light crumb cake uh, to color. We're gonna use Calypso Coral for the big turtles shell. I'm using Bumblebee to stamp the shell on the little baby turtle, but you could use Daffodil Delight if you don't have the Bumblebee. Now we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends to color the little party hat. Light Daffodil and Light Calypso. We're gonna use the turtle punch to cut the turtle out. And then the rest of these, we're gonna to have to fussy cut with our scissors. So I'm using paper snips. And let's start with the little party hat. I work better with smaller pieces, so trim those out real quick. <laughs> I went from the party hat to the turtle. Oh well.
I'm going to call that my quick and dirty. <laughs> Since white is behind it, it won't be that noticeable. So now let's finish cutting out the party hat. So now all we have to do is add this here, again using our liquid glue. Oops, it looks like I got ink on there. I'll use my little sand eraser. Now let's add the little hat before we add, add it to the card. I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue. I normally would use my silicone craft sheet so that I don't get glue on my desk. I think that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. So we're going to pop this up. I'm going to put two dimensionals, one on the head, one on the body, just like that. Now, I didn't add any Wink of Stella to these projects, but you could. It would be really cute if you wanted to. And then we're going to add the little one. This time I'm using the slider color. Now we're going to add a little bow on the turtle's neck, a little baker's twine bow. So the class packets come with a yard. You don't need uh, hardly any of that yard, but that's the beauty of the swag bag, right? It comes with extra product. So I'm just going to take a glue dot. I'm going to add this. Place it on top of the glue dot, kind of smush it with my finger, and then I'm going to pick it up with my take your pick tool. Again, smush that mini glue dot, and then place it on the neck. And we may or may not need to trim the uh, the tails of the of the twine. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so there they are. It opens up. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now we're making this card and it opens up just like this. Isn't that cute? Okay, so here's the designer series paper. Uh, because we use this paper on our box, you're now gonna be using your second sheet of this paper. So that's one of the reasons why there was two sheets of each pattern in the class packets. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece and cut it three and seven eighths. by five and an eighth. There's that one. And then this piece here is gonna measure two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Here's the rest of our pieces. So this is the base, this is the the center piece. Uh, this one is for stamping. This one, these two are for layering. And then these are our focal point. Okay, so this is where we're going to stamp our greeting and the turtle. I'm going to take Memento ink. Whoops. And then I'm gonna turn this on the side here. And I'm using this image, so I'm gonna take a post-it note and I'm going to remove or cover up, sorry I was so slow. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the post-it note and rip, 
leave the sticky part so that it covers up that piece or that part. Okay, remove the sticky note. There's that, okay? Now we also have our inside piece right here. So we're gonna clean this image with um, just a baby wipe. And we're gonna be using the, sorry I was so slow. So I've got that clean. I need to dry it off. I normally dry it on a piece of paper. Here we go. Okay, same thing. We're gonna take a post-it note. Okay, so I'm just gonna rip that in half. And this time I'm covering up the happy belated birthday. Remove the post-it note. I like to stamp this before I add it to the card. That way if I mess up, I can turn this layer over. Okay. And now the turtle. I'm using light crumb cake ink to color. We're gonna take the salt succulent ink pad and we're gonna stamp the shell. You know what, I'm gonna get my stamp in that. I just remembered that I prefer that when I'm stamping the shell. Now we're going to cut it out with the punch. Now we're going to color the little turtle on the inside. So that was crumb cake, light crumb cake, and now I'm using the light soft succulent. This is one of our new in colors this year. And it is very different from mint macaron. I know some people have thought that it was similar. It is quite different. Now I think we're ready to assemble. We've got one more thing we need to do for the greeting. So you can take your paper trimmer and you can trim it, or you can use your scissors. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out with the trimmer. Okay, so I'm just gonna angle this way and that way. It doesn't really matter how you do it. It looks good in every direction. Now let's assemble this card. So. We've got this circle here that we're gonna attach with liquid glue. Okay, there's that. Now this is gonna get attached to this piece. So we used what I like to call the B side of the Pansy Petals paper. Uh, in the month of July, this paper is actually on sale. Uh, after July, it will be back for its, or in its normal price. Uh, but yeah, it's on sale in July of 2021, so. Now we're gonna take the Designer Series paper and add it to the Whisper White layer with liquid glue. And then that's gonna get added to this layer. Okay. 
we're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna place it here and score four and a quarter. Fold it and burnish it. And then we're going to add this right here, just like that, okay? You wanna get it straight, so I would recommend using liquid glue because that really does help get it straight. That way you can slide it until it's straight, right? How's that look? Pretty good. And I like to take my bone folder and just burnish across there, okay? Now this piece here is going inside. <laughs> and this layer here is going here. Now, let me see, what did I do? I did wrap the ribbon around the whole thing. So, you could wrap the ribbon around just this layer if you wanted to. That might save a little bit, but the class packets come with a yard of this ribbon, approximately a yard. It could be off by an inch or so. Okay, there's that. Now, let's add our turtle. We're gonna pop it up. And then this piece is just gonna get added with liquid glue. So I'm just gonna add liquid glue right there in the middle. That seems a bit much, doesn't it? There we go. I like to place this first, so then that way I know where to put the turtle. And I am gonna pop that up using a dimensional. Oh, I just noticed that one of my um, jewels moved. Okay, so here's our ribbon. We're gonna wrap this around. I remember now why I added it around this entire layer and it's because if I didn't like the placement, I could move it. So if you attach it just to this, this layer here, uh, you couldn't move it. So yeah, whoops. Slide it over a bit. And then this is gonna get added. And I can tell I wanna slide this. So see, remember I said I wanted to be able to slide it and that's why. So I'm gonna add two dimensionals on here so that it goes over the ribbon. So one on the bottom and one at the top so that it goes right over it. Now the final step is we're going to add a couple of these in color jewels. So I'm just gonna take one up here, one here. This is always the hardest part, figuring out where to put these things. <laughs> okay, so here's the original. Here's the one we just made. Super cute, right? Okay, for this class, I decided to include a little bonus project. Um, I don't normally do that. I did it this time because I just could not use the pale papaya paper. It is one of my favorites in the pack, and I just love it. I love the ribbon. I love the color. And this will hold a gift card. So this is a super simple project. The class packets do have the supplies to make it, including the ribbon. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. We're going to start with the bottom, if you want, the, you want the flowers on the left side, okay? But then flip it over. We're going to score this at two inches. Then we're going to turn it on this side and score it at three. 
this is another one of those projects that I'm um, showing because I want to help people use up their designer series paper, but I don't actually encourage you to cut it in advance um, because I make so many boxes and bags. If you pre-cut all your paper, <laughs> you chop it all up, uh, then you can't make boxes and bags because the pieces are too small. So I'm trying to show you guys what you can make uh, with your paper without pre-cutting it. So these are the six by six sheets. I've just showed you how to score it. I folded, burnished on, or folded on the score lines and burnished with my bone folder. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip just a smidge on both sides so that when it folds, it doesn't create any issues. See, there it is. So your gift card slides perfectly right in there. I don't actually have one in my possession, but I promise you it's big enough, okay? So then you're gonna take your pale papaya ribbon and we're just gonna wrap it around and tie a pretty bow. This is a project that you can do for any occasion and you can make it super quick. Um, so if you're in a hurry to make a really cute, simple gift card holder, uh, this is it for you. Whoops, I better stop talking. I can't tie my bows when I'm talking. It's the last project too that I'm filming. So it's like, okay, all of a sudden I feel this need to rush, but I don't have to. Okay, then we're going to slide it over to the right. I like it. Over to the right. And then trim the, trim the ends of the ribbon. My scissors need to be sharpened. So you guys have watched me use these forever now. Well, a couple years anyway. They are now officially needing to be sharpened. <laughs> okay, we want to make that a little bit prettier. Now, this is the little circle <laughs> and the little scallop. We're gonna stamp Forever Friends, and we're using Soft Suede. You could use Memento. You can use any color you want. You don't have to use this color. I just kind of felt like it went with it. We're gonna flip that over, add some liquid glue. And then I'm gonna turn it over and add a dimensional on the back side. And then we have our little flower to add. So I'm just gonna slide this under the ribbon, almost like it's attached to the ribbon, but it's not. We're gonna take one of these loose flower um, embellishments, but what we're gonna do, aren't these colors just so pretty? So the class did come with some of these as well. Actually an entire packet. Uh, so we're going to take the in colored jewels and we're going to add one of these in the center of that just to give it some extra bling. And then we're going to add this with a glue dot. Okay, there you have it. Okay, so that wraps up our Turtle Friends class. Uh, don't forget there is a PDF available uh, for a small fee over on my website. Uh, the link is in the description below. And if you need anything, let me know. Thanks a lot.